How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to Pokemon Crimson. A lot of stuff happened right there. I mean, we got some Pokeballs, we got a Totodile, we found out this is a multi-generation game that extends beyond the first two, and uh, Glenn is actually kind of a good guy. So I'm going to keep going here. Whoa, wait! Take this app for your phones! Scott and Bay obtain Pokedex. Of course it's an app now. If you're gonna be trainers, this app's for ya. Pokedex registers every Pokemon you see and catch. It's still in beta stage, so there are just some Pokemon from the first five generations to register. Oh, wow. First five, jeez. Hi, Glenn's grandma. Mother, it is a bad time. Please come back to Restart Town for a moment. Bay's dad and I have presents for both of you. Interesting. Let's see what she has. I'm gonna guess running shoes. Usually seems like you can go back after the first meet and greet with the professor, which in this case there's not a professor, and you'll get running shoes. So that's my prediction. There, at my house or Bay's house? My house. Here you are. Oh, town maps, okay. Actually, that could be pretty handy because I don't really know it. Oh! Guess who called it? New pairs of running shoes. Let's get those Nikes on. Wow! I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just promise me that you're gonna take care of yourselves. I can't promise that. There appeared some weird creatures around the routes. Be careful. You both, specifically, excuse me, especially you, Bay. So he doesn't really care about me. You've heard him. Be careful outside. You can go now. Hey, Scott. What about a little race, you and me? With our new running shoes. Come on, don't be lazy, it'll be fun. We're going to start near Route 1. Okay, I don't know how to use these yet, so... From here we have to run to Alternate Town. Okay. So run with the running shoes, just maintain... Press the Z key when you walk with the arrow keys. Oh yeah, this route is full of wild po- Yeah, shinies, bay. Still pretty salty about that. Yeah, I might catch something. I don't really care too much about this race, so... <laughs> Let's keep going here. She catched a Starly. Well, she didn't even use proper grammar, so... Okay. Rutata. Hmm... I'm not really interested, honestly. The other two, maybe, but... Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to go there. And there's another one. Alright, sorry about that. Let's just do a quick run here. Like, if I'm not even gonna use a Pokémon, then I don't see the reason to catch it. And there is a third. Maybe it's the same one, just following me around. What's she doing? I'm just gonna assume I'm winning this race, so... Yeah. Gasp, gasp. Wow, it was a tie! <laughs> no, it wasn't. What about if we decide this with a Pokemon battle? First, we'll heal our friends. Alright, so let's battle with our brand new Pokemon. For me, it is the same one. <laughs> so she got a Starly. Interesting first gen 4 of this run. I'm gonna skip the Leer. Rage. I'm just gonna go into a Water Gun because it looks cool. See if that takes him down to half health. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That will not affect my special, so I will finish him off. 
Notice there are no male-female icons. It still follows Gold and Silver enough to where they are genderless Pokemon. This will be a quick water gun. I'm thinking I might be able to one-shot them. Let's take a look. Oh, that was a crit, and it did not do the trick. Scratch will finish him off. Don't burn me. That would just be stupid. Perfect. So we are now 2-0 against Bay. Probably going to level up here again. Keeping with the uh, defensive stats. And we defeated at Trainer Bay again. Another $288. Alright, you won this time. I'm the heal our tired friends again. I just remembered what Glenn told us. He said that around the routes appeared lots of Pokemon trainers awaiting for challenges. What if we turn our vacations into a Pokemon adventure? You know, catching more Pokemon, filling the Pokedex, battling with other trainers and so. To make it more enjoyable, let's make a competition between us. Here in Alternate Town, there are two exits to different routes. Route 2 on the north and the Route 9 on the south. Let's choose one of those routes for each of us to start our own adventure. Ooh, which one should I choose? I feel like 2 is going to be kind of a generic Pokemon still, so I'm going to move on straight to 9. And really, <laughs> you think she's going to stop me if I go to Route 2? That's... I feel like I could go there if I wanted. Oops. Alright. So she said Route... 9 was to the right. Whatever, let's go here. What's up? My daughter Fart knows how to make a mother worry. She says she's gonna train but never tells me where. Only God knows what she's doing right now. My sister's so meany, she never lets me play with her lizard. Maybe Fart's upstairs. I always thought it was kind of uh, an invasion of privacy, that you can just walk into people's houses without knocking. Like, even in Animal Crossing, they can at least say no. Alright, so this is Route 9. Let's see what kind of Pokémon there are here. Oh, great. Maybe I should have chosen Route 2. I'm just, I'm really just not interested in Rattata. Let's check this berry tree. Um, another Orin, cool. At this stage of the game, those are kind of useful. So we got uh, Fart down there with the trainer. Let me see if I can find something cool. A non-shiny Pidgey. Still... Wouldn't be terrible to join my team. Sand attack, okay. Go right into a Pokeball here. See how it works out. Couple wiggles here. Let's catch. So we have caught our first Pokemon. Tiny bird, it has an extremely sharp sense of direction. Good to know. So if I fly in this Pidgey, it should get me to the right place. Whoa, stop! You won already! Don't need to kill my Pokémon. Jeez. Don't worry about fictional beings from a video game. You're so pathetic. What is Fart's problem, besides the gas? That fart was about to kill my poke. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's look at that again. It's like the fart smelled so bad that it was gonna kill his Pokemon. Wait, did he say she's hot? But I cannot be mad with her. After all, she's hot. Alright. That's kind of weirding me out. Recycle Forest. Okay. Kind of Bernie Sanders themed Democratic Forest. Let's save the environment. Maybe, uh, Caterpie? Wurmple, okay. So we're going straight into Gen 3-ish style forest. 
I am not really interested in the Wurmple, but I attacked it, so might as well get some XP here. Perfect. And that'll get us up a little bit. I know I'm not using the running shoes, um, I just find it a little bit easier to maneuver caves and forests without that selected, um, just because there's the chance of wild Pokemon and trainers, it's just, um, just a little easier to, to manage. As you can see, I think we have a trainer right here. Wanna play Pokemon with me? Yeah, this is actually my first non-rival trainer battle. And so, we're using the Kanto Pokemon Gold music. Interesting. You hop over there after the Johto journey. This is what you're going to hear from the trainers. You really had to do that. Sand attack is just not a nice thing to do. Scratch for the win. And it missed. I, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Scratch, not for the win, jeez. This Pidgey. Pidgey is just not my friend in this game. First I find a shiny I can't catch. Then I catch one, which I'm happy about. And then this one sand attacks me. Um, I don't really think I need an Orinberry yet. So I'm just going to kind of swag my way out here and keep moving. The trainer, I'm assuming. Kind of avoided him, at least for the time being. Another Wurmple that I don't want. This would not be a bad place to train my Pidgey. In case I need to level him up for uh, a gym battle or something. I have no idea what type the first gym leader is going to be. I'm assuming it's not Faulkner. Because this is already deviating a lot from gold. So I'm assuming... Uh, just completely new gym leaders. I mean, they made a new rival sprite, so they probably made some new gym sprites, too. Okay, that could come in handy. Another Wurmple. Yeah. One part about the early forests in these games I've never been a fan of is you can't use repels yet. I mean, you can, but there's nowhere to buy them yet, so... Maybe I should hit the Z and, yeah, run through a little bit if it's a straight path. Going against my own school of thought of not running through the forest, we're going to keep running through. Another item. Antidote, that'll help in case of an unlucky poison sting. Okay, Ladyba. I am interested in this. I'm going to try and catch it. Tackle. I might need to Orinberry. Okay, not yet. I also have a potion, the free one from the Mart. So after another tackle, that might be a good time to use that potion. Yep. Just to be safe, I'm gonna use the potion before the Pokeball. There it is. Make sure I get the right Pokemon there. I'm going to tackle again, and I'm going to weaken him with one more scratch first. That's nice that that missed. Confusion can be very annoying. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to go right into my Pokeball here and snag this Ladybug. Wow, that is a hard catch rate being in red health. I'm gonna try again, but I'd hate to be losing all my Pokeballs this early. I don't have a ton of cash. Nice! That's a good catch. I am pretty happy about that one, even compared to the Pidgey. Um, like I said, I have played a lot of gold in my day, and you get Spinarak rather than Ladybug. So, it, since that's tied to Silver version, so it is 
Not a Pokemon I'm too acquainted with. Wurmple I am, <clears throat> excuse me, very acquainted with. And do not mind... Oof! See, that's why I don't run. <laughs> Thankfully I'm healed up and all that, so... Last Amanda should not be too much of a problem. She also has a Ladyba, uh, less leveled than mine. Why don't you get on my level, Amanda? I'm gonna start raging so I can build that up for the second Pokemon in her party. Thankfully that missed. That would be an annoying special condition to combat with my rage. Rage is building. Interesting it took two rages to build. I remember in gold it did it every turn. Almost there. One more should do the trick. As well as a level up to number 10. Spinarak, okay, so as I said before, Spinarak is the more common one from Gold Version. Uh, you can find it at nighttime in certain patches. This game is not, to my knowledge, daytime, nighttime specific, but at the time in Gold and Silver, that was really revolutionary. That was something, obviously, now if you really wanted a Spinarak and you're playing in the morning, you could just change your the time of day in your game, and you could do that then too, but my brother and I were really young at the time, and we would be really uh, tuned in to getting our games out late, which I really think was Nintendo's purpose of that. So, alright, we're out of the forest, we're in Route 8 now, this is a good time to pause, end the episode, we have now caught a Ladybug and Pidgey. Pretty exciting stuff, building the party, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.